Those are the tornado sirens. We got a weather alert on our phone that said to take shelter because there was a tornado. Potentially very large tornado on the ground. Oh wow. Does it say it's gonna hit Jersey? We should probably go to the bathroom. Might as well, right? Oh, oh no, is that the power? Hey guys. So I am just wrapping some of the kids' Christmas presents. Thought maybe you guys would want to join me. I need to get the wrapping paper and stuff though. I got the supplies. Yeah, I'm just wrapping some of the kids' Christmas presents. I also have their stockings with me because, oh, got a weird pain in my chest. I got their stockings because I got some stuff to put in their stockings. And I don't know that they're gonna fit. So I got them just to like see and we got to leave some room for Sienna. So I got their stockings out I got this bin because I think there's some boxes in here to put clothes in to wrap those But yeah, I thought I'd bring you guys along kind of show you some of the stuff I got I'm not gonna wrap Grayson's Christmas outfit yet Because I got him other clothes and I might put a pair of pants in with this. I don't know yet. So I'm not gonna wrap this yet, but I am gonna do her dress because I know that I'm just gonna have the dress in there. Also, tonight we're gonna make gingerbread houses and I'm really excited. So I'll definitely, obviously, bring you guys along with us. But we were gonna go see Christmas lights tonight, but apparently it's supposed to storm really bad, so don't really wanna go out in that, especially with the kids. So we're gonna do that, I think, next weekend. Got her little dress in there, how cute. Can we just talk about how much fun it is when you get older and have kids and like have Christmas? Like giving presents for my children is like way more fun than when I was little and got presents. Like I get more excited on Christmas morning than I've ever gotten in my life. Like I freaking love it. Also, you guys are sitting on a Christmas present right now. It's Blakely's Christmas present. It's her big present. I've got her big present already obviously built and put together, but Grayson's we haven't done yet and I kind of want to do that this weekend. Oh, my like chest hurts and I'm like hiccuping, I don't know what that's what's going on, but how do you, I'm not a good rapping person. <laughs> Go outside, the snow is falling down And every child is having so much fun The snowman is twice the size as me With a smile as quirky as mine We're holding hands to keep each other warm While we stand and watch a choir perform And all the Christmas Okay, so I got this book for Grayson Tell me that's not the cutest freaking thing Can you see that? It's called Why a Son Needs a Dad. I also got Blakely one. It's not here yet, but it says Why a Daughter Needs a Mommy. And like, it's like the same thing. Christmas, a moment we'll fill with love and joy. Mm -mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. I don't need any presents as long as I spend this day with you. Mm -mm, so beautiful, kissing on these two yet i might just make it up to both of them but they're just like little animal magnets and grayson like in speech loves to play with the magnets so he likes playing with like all the magnets and stuff and i thought this would be a good thing to play with with blakely so she could learn her animals but like also gray too even though he already knows all of his animals you know the stars are shining just for you let's take a walk and we can follow the moon let's till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend Now I can the rest of the stuff in here Stocking stuff, or see like this I got this and I thought it was like a little thing to put in, in the stocking But it's like really big <laughs> That's a problem <laughs> I got this for Blakely put in her stocking but it no fit maybe i'll just like set them by their stockings like on top i ordered an ornament for this year for the family i get like a family ornament every year and it was cheaper to get it without like your name on it so i just got it without the names and i figured i'd write them on myself and 
It looked a lot bigger in the picture. Look how tiny it is. Like, I can't fit all of our names on that. That's tiny. But I'm gonna try. I might just put like a, a G on Grayson's reindeer and like a, a B on Blakely's and then do like mom and dad on mine and Drew's because there's no way I'm fitting Blakely and Grayson's names on there. But I thought it was cute. Look how cute these bows are. So Blakely's hair is getting a little bit bigger so I got a bunch of clip-on bows. And I didn't realize how many there were. So there's that. This is the tornado sirens. Hey. Hey. I know, what does that mean? Stocking stuff figured out. My camera died, so that's why it's turned off. But I got everything figured out with the stocking, so that's good. I got enough stuff for the both of them. I think I think everything's good. I am, however, going to try to go ahead and write on this ornament and then wrap it up and then have it be like a family gift for everyone. Ta-da! Can you see it? It's not perfect. <laughs> Nobody's perfect. <laughs> okay, so we were gonna do gingerbread houses and then we got a weather alert on our phone that said to take shelter because there's a tornado. So a little scary. We've never had this happen before. I mean, there's tornadoes in our area, but we haven't had one like a, a, a alert on our phone since we've moved out on our own. So it is a little weird. We don't have a basement. So we're all in the bathroom. So yeah, we're just hanging out in the bathroom for right now, hopefully. Hopefully it's nothing and we're fine, but yeah, that's what we're doing. Glad we didn't go see Christmas lights. That would've been really bad if we were out doing Christmas lights, but no. But yeah, so we're just playing in the bathroom right now, just trying to be safe. Oh, the bathroom, first of all, I think bathrooms in general are supposed to be like one of those, like in your bathtub is like where you're supposed to go if you're in the basement. But this ba bathroom is like right in the middle of our whole house, so I feel like that's like the best place to be. I don't know. It just said here. I'll read you what the alert says. Okay, it says, National Weather Service tornado warning in this area until 8:15. Um, take shelter now in a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. If you are outdoors in a mobile home or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Check media. <laughs> so that's what we're doing right now. So much fun. How is your first tornado warning? It's awesome. How's it going, Blakely? Oh, and my battery's about to die. Lovely. Can't even vlog our first tornado. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I will talk to you guys later when this tornado warning is over and we can go make gingerbread houses. <laughs> okay, we already left to the, <laughs> the bathroom. That didn't last long, changed my battery, so hey. I just looked outside and it doesn't look bad at all. Like, it's just kind of raining a little bit. It's not super windy. I feel like the tornado's not like, here <laughs> i don't know and we're trying we're trying to figure out like where we could watch the news and just like see where they're at like kind of track where they're at like so that when we do need to like take shelter if we need to take shelter we can but no sense of like making our kids stay in the bathroom when like i don't think it's right in our you know what i mean i don't know so we're just trying to figure out what's going on we want to make sure everyone's safe but it's freaking December. Why are there so tornadoes? I want a snowstorm. I want a blizzard. <laughs> you know? I know. We were supposed to have a white Christmas and it's like Hello, 70. Hey, we're out. We, uh, we're trying to figure out how to watch the news because we can't watch it in there. You can just go to live at the bottom and just go to one of the local channels. The local channels? Like, what, what yeah, are... Yeah, like, uh, <laughs> it used to be Fox 2 or... Oh, uh, okay. Maybe those will be local. Some, of the, some of the locals. The local... Locals. The, lo local. <laughs> the local channels. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. I don't see any, like, anything right on top of us right now. But it looks like it's kind of big here. Yeah. 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 Alright, like I said, text me if you think something's happening. 
Like, if you think it's on top of us, like, give me an instant call. I will. I will. I will. <laughs> love you. As of right now, it looks okay. I'll let you know if it's... Okay. All right. So keep, keep the phone, you know, we'll be on a wire-to-wire -wire basis. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> All right, I love you. Bye. You <laughs> heard it here, folks. <laughs> Looks tie-dye. Potentially very large tornado on the ground, uh, just north of the Missouri River, crosses the river. We're acting like it's the end of the world. No, I think it's, it's just it's. Christmas or something. No, it's just it's just our first like thing. Like we're we're kind of on our own. You know what I mean? Like if something were to happen, so it's kind of scary. Yeah. Also, don't mind the mess. We it's a bunch of boxes from packages and stuff. You could see all those boxes and packages from up there, and it looked messy. Now it's lightning and thundering. It's getting serious. But I. I don't know. Is that bad? Shelby said a tornado just touched down and is headed north, like towards us. Oh wow. Do you see that lightning, Drew? I feel like the most nerve wracking thing is like, I don't know when to like take shelter. Right now it's like, what would you say, like an hour away from us, but it's headed our way. Sirens again. Okay, update. I know, I. it's storming pretty bad outside. Like it's lightning and thundering. You can probably hear it. Um, but it doesn't look like it's coming like necessarily straight towards like our town. It's kind of gonna go right by us. That's what it looks like. But you never know the tornado, so obviously we're gonna keep. Uh, Does it say it's gonna hit Jersey? We should probably go to the bathroom. Yeah, they're saying it's coming for our area and now the sirens are back on. And my sister just texted me saying that we should take cover. Uh, this is kind of scary. <laughs> Not now, no, it's too late. Yeah, we might as well. Right. Oh, oh no, is that the power? No. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. Should we get the flashlights and stuff, and just in case? Was it the power? No. We should get the flashlights and stuff, though, right? Yeah, let me get everything in just one sec. I'm like kind of scared, actually. I'm scared. But the power didn't go out. You're just like, what is it called when you do that? Yes, yes. I tripped the thing in the bathroom when he was trying to plug in his phone, but I thought the power went out, and that was scary. Ooh, my heart stopped for a second. This is so scary. Like at first I was kind of like, oh, like we get tornado warnings all the time. But it does seem to be getting close, so that's really kind of scary. We don't have a basement, like I said, so it's just, it's a lot. You guys got toys? Yeah, we got flashlights. Flashlights in case the power goes out. Yeah. Getting another tornado alert. God, it's stressful. Now it says until 8.45. That sucks. Yeah, I know. At first it was 8.15. Well, I think it's because it's still like an hour away from us. But it said it was going like, I think it said 55 to 60 miles. Per I don't know how fast it said it was coming, but. Blakely wants to turn on all the lights. But I would rather save the battery in case we need it. <laughs> this is where it says it's headed. We're right on the edge right here. So we'll see. Hey girl, don't be looking into that light. You know what I was just thinking? What if this goes on all night? What do we do? I really can't. I guess you're right. But what if it's like, what if they keep like pushing it back? I do not want to be staying up in here. You don't think it will. I'm already tired. <laughs> what time is it? I said I'm already tired. It's 8:21. We canceled gingerbread houses. 
I don't know. We might have to. Are you pushing all those magnets under the door? Okay, we're getting out. It doesn't look like we're in the radar anymore, and it's really crammed in this bathroom. We've got toys everywhere now, so we're going to get out. Okay, really quickly, I just want to jump on here. I know I don't look that great. I've literally been editing this video that you guys are watching right now, and I just wanted to say a couple things before I end this video. First of all, I just wanted to say at the beginning of this video, I had no idea that there was going to be a tornado. Um, it's December tornado. I've never had a tornado in December. Obviously, I live in the Midwest, so tornadoes are very common. It's not like an, you know, I hear tornado sirens a lot. It's not like an uncommon thing. So when this very first started happening, my first thought was like, what the heck? It's December. There's no way there's a tornado. Like, I thought it was an accident, but they like accidentally hit the sirens. I like literally was not frantic at all. I was like, this is nothing. Like, because this can't be anything. Obviously, towards the end of the video, you see that I got like a lot more scared because it was getting a lot more serious. Like, every news station was saying like for our county to take cover and then it was like coming towards us and so it was really scary um and i also just wanted to say that like drew and i when we're like under stress like our go-to is humor like we just like to joke about things and make things seem less like severe less scary like i don't know that's just our way of coping is through humor and like making jokes out of things now, i just really don't want to come off as like insensitive because I know that that tornado did a lot of damage. If you didn't know, it uh, it hit a Amazon warehouse in Edwardsville. Edwardsville is not too far from where I live, it's about 40, 45 minutes away. So that was really scary. Um, it also did a lot of damage in Kentucky. Um, I know it also hit, I think it was like a nursing home in Arkansas. Like it, done, it did a lot of damage to a lot of different places and I had no idea that it had even hit anything. Um, I didn't even learn about the Amazon warehouse until like hours after we had like been off the radar like for our area and we like weren't taking cover anymore. Um, so I didn't even know that it was like in Edwardsville that it was that close that I kept hearing that it was like an hour away like in like the Chesterfield area but I didn't hear that it like hit anything there or anything like that. So I had no idea the severity of the situation. And then, then I didn't hear about Kentucky uh, Arkansas any of the other places until the next day and after all of that Drew and I sat down and like actually had a talk because it, it scared us like it scared us that we weren't that we weren't taking the situation seriously enough so we sat down came up with like an actual plan for like hey like next time this happens we want to do things right we want to take things more seriously and we actually set down a plan of what we were gonna do you know next time that happens and like I said this was the first time that we'd had like a real tornado warning uh, since we've been on our own so it was a little bit scary. I did want to mention that after everything I've been looking up a lot of stuff and I did read that it is really safe for kids like if you don't have a basement or even if you do have a basement but for young kids to put them in their car seat during uh, a tornado warning and stuff because that's like a safe the safest place for them to be so if you haven't already heard of that that's a really good tip that I heard I'm definitely going to be doing that next time I also just want to say that the only reason this was recorded was because we were planning to you know make gingerbread houses and like do all these things and I even mentioned in the beginning of the video that you know there was a storm and we were gonna go see Christmas lights but we didn't because we heard that there was gonna be a storm I had heard that there was gonna be a storm but I had no idea that there was gonna be like tornadoes or anything and the only reason I kept continuing I mean you could tell like the very first time that we went to the bathroom I was like yeah like I'll talk to you guys when this is over like I literally thought this was just gonna be like some quick storm that was just gonna blow right over like I did not think it was gonna be serious at all it was just very eye-opening and I learned a lot from it and like I said we literally sat down and like said hey next time this happens we're gonna go here we have to put the kids in their car seats do this do that like we actually came down and like sat down a plan which I highly encourage anyone else to do especially if you're living in the Midwest um, and anywhere like for any sort of natural disaster you know if you live somewhere where there's a lot of fires hurricanes earthquakes whatever like to sit down with your partner and like really sit down a plan but I did want to say that all of the families that have been affected by the tornado, uh, they've been in my prayers. Definitely super sad, especially right before the holidays. I can't even imagine. So keep those families in your thoughts and prayers. And yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.
Thank <laughs> you.